Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So as you guys probably guessed, I hit the flea markets last weekend and uh, picked up a load of what I considered real decent deals. I hit um, morning flower uh, in Thomasville and Williams Grove out there in Mechanicsburg. So let's start out right in the beginning. First of all, free stuff. There was a guy who picked up a whole load. Um, I think he was doing a clean out. This was part of it. Anyway, he did so well selling off the clean out. He was at Williams Grove that at about 10.30 in the morning, he said, you know what, it's hot, I wanna go home. Just take stuff for free. So I picked up uh, this toolbox. You can see it it's, needs a little love. I put the handles back on. A couple of those were loose, um, but I found the hardware inside. Right, we have these little Phillips heads here. So they were loose in the drawer anyway. So I fished up the Phillips head, put the handles back on, and it's all good. It did come with these tools. Some of them decent, like this Craftsman, you know, half a 916th, you know, your lawnmower wrench, so to speak. This looks like uh, stuff from China, but once again, 10 and 8 millimeter, very handy. More Craftsman, you know, um, line, right, tape. Um, goop for putting stuff together a few sockets though they're cheap fan bits right a couple of allens so um once again the toolbox with the tools inside were free and uh it, it was weird he said oh yeah just take it so it was closed at at the time i didn't even bother looking inside right somebody gives you a free toolbox you just jump all over it so I looked up and my son was loading himself up with other free stuff that was there. My son happened to be with me. So uh, I kind of looked at him. He said, I'm not carrying that toolbox. So uh, I guess one of his images of me, something he'll talk about uh, in the future, is how, you know, I put that up on my shoulder and trucked out to the to the truck with it and threw it in the back so there you go <laughs> a family moment and a free toolbox okay next up is the i call it the dollar or less junk everything from old skeletor there you know a, a hand siphon pump thomas the tank engine toolbox for sorting sockets right these guys this is just a string of nice leds and that's what these two things are i don't know a bird and a lightning strike all kinds of hose i just pick up hose because i use it for gas line this looks like it was meant for siphoning i have no clue what this is i don't know if it lights up or what it does um eventually i'll plug it in and figure that out computer fans some of this stuff was in a box right like i didn't pick up the little amish boy here I, it was in a box including the rock um yeah so everything here down uh was a dollar or less a lot of it was only a quarter and some of it once again came in boxes this guy here is particularly interesting it looks like you put your grinder right your grinder turns this and you can see the bolts where this would bolt on to where the handles are and when you push it down you see how that blade comes out i have no clue what it's for but it was in one of the boxes once again a buck or less that whole pile of stuff i'm going to skip right to the most expensive thing i bought this is one of those brushless quarter inch drive Ryobi's. Doesn't look like it was used. If you're familiar with the Ryobi 18 volt one plus line, it started out as the um, blue junk that had the uh, NICAD batteries. The tools were actually 
pretty good. The NICAD batteries really didn't hold up. Then they went to the Green Line, which was a little better. Um, quality stood up a little better. And that's when the uh, lithium ion batteries went into them. Well, this is the next step up with the brushless design. I checked it out, made sure it worked and so forth. I went $30 on this, which is half price or less. I think it's like a $79 tool so I was happy to find that for 30 bucks picked up another pulse charger I think it was three I picked up these lights here what these are actually meant for is landscaping I picked them up um, they were $1.25 each five for the set of four um, I picked those those up because I figured they would be cool on all terrain vehicles right should be no big deal to figure out how many volts typically it's um, 12 or 24 so I'll figure that out hopefully it's a white light this craftsman set was three dollars I basically bought it for the ratchet that's um, American made and it's a little older so the quality is good these canisters of Phillips heads were um, the two of them were five bucks. What I liked about them is they were self-drilling. So I'm, uh, I, I figured for five bucks, you know, sometimes you got projects you got to put together, and uh, they'll be perfect for that. I bought this unused dash cam, just a small little thing. You know, sometimes running around with the all-terrain vehicles, I've been trying to get my camera action together. And I've, um, as a matter of fact, I bought this toolbox. It was five bucks. I want to try to get all my camera stuff in one place. My old camera box um, got broken. It suffered a tragedy and it was too small. So I'm hoping this one uh, works out well for me. Plano, normally that's some better stuff. I mean, it came with the tray. Hopefully that, that will get me organized. Anyway, as you could see, I picked up the camera. I'm hoping, once again, to get different angles, you know, splice it in. I'm about ripe to upgrade my uh, video uh, editor processor. You guys know the time delay I suffer and so forth with it. So I'm hoping to get all of this together one day. Seat pad, always handy. <laughs> Um, you know, sometimes with the all-terrain vehicles, I kind of jump onto them and, you know, it'd be nice to have a pad handy to, uh, to use for that. I picked this up from a friend of mine there. The nice thing is you could actually stand on it. It's a good height for all of that. Um, I went five bucks for it. It came with these tools, you know, nothing great, right? You got a file here, a quarter inch extension, you know, a prop from the movie Psycho. You know, another couple of things. To be honest, I didn't even look at it. I didn't realize there was anything in it until I started carrying it. And I heard stuff shuck about. Kind of interesting what you find. People leave. Anyway, so I won $5 for this particular toolbox. It's not good to leave outside in the weather. See how this is opened, even with the cover on it, that's still open. And uh, it would fill with water. But once again, for standing on, it's absolutely perfect. I actually finally met the person who owns the stand in the back of uh, Morning Star that sells the carburetors. She indicated that they're not refilling. So when these carburetors are gone, they're gone. I picked up another six and I got them for 10 bucks each. And just, I'm always trying to get the Kevins, right? Um, even if these are made in China. I'm noticing that the re the Kievan knockoffs are really a little better quality than uh, most of the stuff. So once again, 10 bucks each, I picked up six. 
the Amazon return lady was there and uh, she's amusing so I always like shooting the bull with her these are LED lights you check them out they work and they're dimmable so I picked up those this is a package of energizer batteries that somebody bagged four loose cells out of I don't know how many are in there they're guaranteed 10 years maybe it's yeah it's a 24 pack so there were 20 of them in there the tape the uh, mouse bait this this works better because they don't carry these around so they go in and eat and then come out and hopefully drink water and croak this is an LED flashlight it runs on uh, D batteries um, I, I have one of these inside in the garage and I really like it and if you put the 10 year D battery in it it means like for 10 years you got a flashlight all ready to go so I picked up this bathroom scale and some of you might go Harvey you don't know you're fat I picked it up to weigh propane bottles this is an empty bottle as in stone cold empty you could see it weighs just under 20 pounds this is a full propane bottle and you can see it weighs just under 35 pounds. I have a few propane bottles floating around and I really don't know how much is in there. And if you're doing something like running a propane generator on one of these bottles, it's kind of a pest to have it shut down, which could shut down the internet and the TVs and the cable box and all that other stuff then you got to go change the cylinder fire it up reinitialize everything to get going again so for heating I don't mind using the mostly empty bottles because when they run out no big deal you swap them and you don't it'll take a while for the house to cool off or to, for to notice the heat is out but um, if you're running a propane generator you really want to start out with the most full bottle you can and also so one could weigh as the generator is consuming the bottle so that you have some kind of clue where it is before it empties out anyway I went five bucks on the scale as near as I could tell it's actually quite accurate um, which means it's telling me <laughs> that I'm 50 pounds heavier than I really am there you go so last time I was at the market, you guys know I picked up a set of these with four, four holes. These have five holes, tires hold there and everything else. My plan is to re-drill them to four hole 100s. And then I would have a set of these on the back as well as the front of the cart. I don't know for sure if um, if these will go on the front of the cart without jacking the cart up somewhat to uh, so that you could steer them in the real wheel well anyway the pair of them was 15 bucks he wanted 25 I offered no he wanted 20 I offered him 15 and he took it and the last thing I got was this tough box it was only three dollars so when he said three bucks, I said, oh, that's cool. And I handed him the three bucks. And he said, uh, by the way, it's dirty inside. I said, you know, after walking around Williams Grove here for three hours, I'm pretty dirty. And he goes, no, it really is dirty inside. So I said, all right, fine. I hoisted it up, threw it on my shoulder. As I was carrying it to the truck, I smelled manure. And then... I got it in the truck and I'm like oh my god this just bloody stinks turns out the manure in it was fresh and as I sit here and look it looks like I found some more stuff so I picked up these two boxes of bits this was two bucks a lot of times what's handy about this is I fill in the sizes that I uh, kind of lost out these are really handy for making those carb adapters I'd like to make and use so we have that these go in those roto zips um, for cutting plastic and all fiberglass laminates plastic vinyl aluminum siding 
So, yeah, you spin these really quick and you can, you know, kind of make artwork. For copper and brass, you just got to kind of go a little slow. Um, but, yeah, these do a nice job. Last but not least, this came as a box. Um, it's just an assortment of things. Like, that's for heating high and low. Um, capacitors. These are reed relays. 48 volt doesn't really help me too much. You know, 12 volt. So the, the box, which I basically bought for the box, was $2. But it came with this loose electronics. used outlet you know, it just had an assortment of stuff that when I looked at it I figured it would be helpful to me yeah I'm trying to get this box dried out it's, it stinks a lot less than it originally did I mean when I popped it open once the first time it like knocked you over this um, manure must have been fresh and then it was out baking in the sun with the cover closed and it once again it knocked your socks off it stunk so bad so this was uh, this week's assortment of uh, of flea market finds I love going to Williams Grove uh, Morningstar sometimes I find redneck machines that people have built up you know quite honestly you never quite sure what you're going to find and that's part of it right the joy of the hunt i uh kind of took it easy a little bit i knew that i wanted to buy the skid steer and all and one only has so many funds so bringing home a million dollars worth of junk was not part of the equation anyway i want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe please remember feet down heads up get out and enjoy each and every day Bye now.